good evening. Uh, my name is Allison, and I joined Most Precious Blood um, in 2015. It was right after I graduated from UCF, and it was just a really beautiful and natural transition into a uh, parish home uh, community that had so warmly welcomed me uh, as a student, and then again as a young adult. Um, after just a couple years of being here, the Lord actually called me to mission in Denver, Colorado, um, where I've been serving the homeless with an organization called Christ in the City. Um, so I've just been more spiritually a part of this uh, parish for the past couple of years, um, as opposed to being physically present. But um, from what I understand, we've been going over the core values um, of our parish over the, the course of the summer. So we've already touched on um, reaching wide and growing deep. And then I'm here tonight to uh, just share a little bit about how Most Precious Blood has shared uh, its blessings with me and then how I in turn have been able to share uh, blessings with the greater community. Um, so like I said, I joined Most Precious Blood right after I graduated college. Um, and one of the best pieces of advice I'd ever gotten in college, um, especially at such a large campus um, was get involved and the community is going to seem a lot smaller. You know, it doesn't seem like this gigantic uh, ocean of people. Um, and so that's what I did in college. And I took that same advice to heart uh, when I joined the parish um, and really was looking for ways to get involved. Um, and one Sunday, I uncharacteristically actually read the bulletin. Um, sorry, I've just got to be honest. <laughs> And um, so I found um, a little ad in there about faith formation and that they needed faith formation uh, teachers. And um, this was back in the Father Dom days, and I was asking, I was like, I think I'm going to consider doing something like this. And he's like, no, don't think about it, just do it. And, okay, while I wouldn't necessarily give that advice for every situation, um, it worked out really well for me. Um, I had just received so much from my campus ministry um, at UCF and just really uh, wanted to share that joy of Christ with, with the teens here at Most Precious Blood. Um, and then that led me to get involved uh, in the core team as well with the youth ministry. Um, and it was so beautiful. Just in that very uh, rough transition of leaving college and going into the dreaded adulthood, um, when I, whenever I was having these anxious thoughts about, am I doing what, am I, what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I where I'm supposed to be? Like, I would just remember those teens, um, and it kept me grounded, and I was like, yes, this is why I'm here, and this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and then, like I said, just a couple years later, I was called to Denver, Colorado, uh, to do mission work with the homeless. Um, and I've been there for the past two years, and it has been an incredibly difficult and beautiful journey um, growing in community with uh, our friends on the street, our homeless community members uh, over there, and they truly are my friends. Um, and that I get to do in a very beautiful way with, with all of you here, um, with the support and prayers of my parish family. Um, I have been able to share the love of Christ and share the joy of Christ with um, the most alienated and outcast of our society. And I am so, so grateful to be able to share in that with all of you here. Um, and so tonight I want to encourage you guys all as well um, to just think about how am I being called to serve my parish community? How am I being called to serve my greater community? Um, because there are so many ways, um, and there are so many beautiful ways that your talents, that your gifts uh, can be used in order to serve the Lord and to be able to serve the community. So uh, as far as this parish community is concerned, we've got quite a few different options. Um, if you just take home the bulletin, read it. It actually really helps. Like, I wouldn't have thought that. It does, though. It's great. Um, and there's a lot of really beautiful opportunities in there to be able to get involved. Um, and yeah, just want to invite you to do that. Um, one final way that, um, that the Lord really uh, romanced me and really uh, called me into his heart was through the Eucharist. Um, I remember on my uh, college retreat, just having that initial experience with him, um, so present in the Eucharist, and again, was able to be able to grow in that and to participate as an uh, extraordinary minister of Holy Communion here. 
um, and just how rewarding um, and how humbled and honored um, I was to be able to participate in, um, in the most intimate encounter that somebody can have with Christ um, in sharing in his body and blood. Um, and so we move forward with, with that strength, um, that, with that um, fullness that we've just received here um, in communion with one another and with our Lord. Um, and as we move forward, yeah, I just really challenge you to think about um, how he's calling you um, to get involved and to serve. So thanks.